Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falco Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft II Legacy of the Void. Today, it's going to be Maru and Shin from uh, GSL Season 1 2024. Bottom right, it's going to be an extractor drinking Shin, formerly known as Ragnarok. He's a Korean Zerg. He's playing blue today. And in the top left, it's going to be Maru. He's our Red Terran. No proxies here from Maru. Which, I don't know. I think it means that he respects Shin, but maybe not. So it's going to be a 15 hatch extractor trick from Shin here today. And I'm trying to resist calling him Ragnarok because he changed his name officially. Another extractor trick here. I have no idea why this is so popular, but Cyril did it, so maybe that's why. So 15 supply out of 14 here. And an overlord on the way. I I have no idea what is going on here. So 15 hatch, 15 pool, 15, 15, 14 was a popular build back in the Heart of the Swarm days, but it is not viable anymore. So I don't know what's going on here. So 15 hatch, 15 pool, 18 supply, 19 supply. <laughs> Oh, there we go. 19 extractor. 19 gas. 15, 15, 19. Here from Shin. If you know why, let me know. Got a Reaper expand timing here. From Maru. Just nice and easy. Standard stuff. <laughs> and a Reaper is on the way here. Overlord perching at this Overlord perching spot. Not right here. I have no idea why he is not proceeding across the map. But maybe Shin says, I will need weird strategies to defeat Maru. Shin says that, right? Did I say Maru? Anyway, so Shin is going a, a weird strategy here. And I'm out of Reaper names. So if you want me to use your Reaper name in a cast, go ahead and submit it into the comments of any video. Just with the word Reaper and a name and a backstory if you want, but you don't have to do a backstory if you don't want to. I guess it gets the queen out a little bit earlier? Because that queen popped super early. Whatever. <laughs> Two drones on the gas. And a third base at... 249. So not an early third base. Maybe a little bit of an early queen. And metabolic boost on the way at 2 minutes and 58 seconds. I'm just confused. I am just confused by Shin here. Anyway, so third base for Maru. Sub 3 minutes. Very, very good. Starport on the way. We've got Hellions. We've got, again, an unnamed Reaper here with two hit points and no kills. Getting out. Nice job, Maru. I'm just curious. I don't think I've cast a game between Maru and Ragnarok. Maru and Shin. Or Ragnarok, back when he was Ragnarok in quite a while. So I'm curious to see how he's going to handle Maru here, like six-time GSL champion. So we got two, three guys on gas. Two guys on gas and then three guys on gas. Sixlings on the way. Concussion shell. Maybe it's going to be a Marauder Hellbat timing here from Maru. Third hatch popping. Maru sees it. But there's no armory. Why? Why is Concussive Shell first? Oh, he canceled it. He canceled Concussive Shell. This is a weird game, you guys, and I don't, I have no idea what is going on here. <laughs> but hey, sometimes that makes it fun. Creep spreading all over your base to help with drops. I understand that. So we've got Hellions. We've got Banshee with Cloak on the way. We do not have an armory, so we cannot transform those Hellions into Hellbats. And I feel like this is pretty much easily defendable with as many queens here as Shin has. We've got six queens with two more on the way. Yeah, get out of here. Great positioning here by Shin. 
Maru says, why? Why is it every time I reposition these Hellions, the queens of my enemy always know where I am going to be? That's because there are overlords at the edges of the creep. Well, at least this one. Ah, burning down two creep tumors. A minor victory there from Maru. And again, just Banshee with Cloak as the follow-up here. Ooh, and two factories. Three factory. Is this mech? Is Maru going mech? Is he going battle mech? Is he going traditional mech? We'll have to see. Roachworn on the way, as well as Aspire here from Shin. Fourth base. Yep, now about 530. All right. Very, very good. Picking off creep tumors. There we go. So... How many creep tumors are dead? We can't see that, but I would say four. Boom, 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 boom. Ah, so Cyclone. Cyclone speed is being researched here. So it is going to be battle mech at least early. Yeah, so double armory. I think Maru is going to commit to this battle mech. And it's not just early Cyclone into Marine Marauder Medivac, right? Because of that double armory. He likes upgrades. As everybody should. So Overseer Queen defending from these cloaked banshees. Very, very good. So Shin pretty much just playing a very, very excellent opener here against Maru. I'm impressed. I'm impressed with his opener. Oh, hang on a second. Yeah, it's surround. These lings are like, are we going to get a surround? Indeed we are. Indeed we are. So what is that? One Hellion down. Two Hellion is down. Three Hellions down. And I don't know if there are enough lings to actually kill the remaining Hellions here. And they're like, okay, we don't. We don't. But the Reaper does end up dead. And you know what? Reinforcing lings come in. And bam. Every Hellion. Oh. We left this. Left 13 Hellion alive. 13 kill Hellions. Yo. This guy's like, wait, get back here. Kill me. What are. Hey. <laughs> Do you not respect me? And the lings are like, actually, no. You know what? Go back and get repaired. Sucker. Third base is landed here. Lings end up scouting that one. Creep spread. Pretty good. Here from Shin, and I just don't think these uh, these Banshees have done anything. Zero kills. Zero kills apiece. Taking some hits. Had to come home. Not fantastic. And it is Mutalisk. I was wondering if it'd be Mutalisk when the Spire came up. Because, you know, Cyclone's not particularly amazing against Mutalisks. Although, I don't know, they can surprise you sometimes. We definitely have seen players try to go uh, Mutas against... Cyclones and kind of get their butts kicked in the past, but all right. These turrets a tiny bit late here, man. I feel like I'm casting Brood War. Turret timing a little bit late for this Mutalisk opening. Cyclones show up. They do chase the Mutalisks away. Fourth base is up for Maru now. That's a planetary and a fifth base coming in from Shin down here at the six o'clock. So yeah, turrets a beautiful answer to Mutalisks. Trying to find an angle here. But the Cyclones come in, and boy, howdy. A Mutalisk goes down, but it feels worse than that, doesn't it? They do have tissue regeneration. Holy oh, eight-minute Greater Spire out of Shin. Okay, I'm on board. I'm on board with an eight-minute Greater Spire for sure. That Hive is allowing that tech to happen. Vipers are coming in now with the Hive. Got, uh, is that Muscular Augments? Yeah, that's got to be Muscular Augments, because I don't think there's a Hydra Den down. Oh, there is a Hydra Den down. Mm, is that... Yeah, you know what? That is going to be Hydra Speed. So, <laughs> Hydra Lurker Broodlord, maybe, against this battle mech? I kind of like this idea. Hellbats are being produced because the armories have existed for a while. Plus two vehicle weapons, siege tanks being added in. Loving that stuff. Although, I don't know. With the Mutalisks, what are siege tanks really going to do? Oh, that SCV is going to die. Good snipe. And only taking one hit for missile, missile turret. Fantastic stuff. Scans in. Doesn't see anything. Sees the Hydra Den. But the scan... I mean, he already saw the Hive. He doesn't know about the Greater Spire, but... Man. So it's Roaches. It's Hydralisks. It's plus two missile attack. It's the Mutas continuing to cause problems here. Going after this refinery inside the main base. Killing an SCV who was building a barracks. So, mm, it's going to be Ghosts. Dude. Okay. Refinery goes down. You just get another SCV. Get dragged into this turret. And actually, the repair response time here for Maru is garbage. Because this Roach Hydra Viper Army is coming in. Abduct on the Cyclone. Good stuff. But I don't know if there's enough Zerg to make this thing happen. Vikings getting hits off. Ooh, all these Overseers are going to die. That's not good. But do these Mutas. 
17 SCVs have died? No way! This wait, 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 wait. Is this Mutalisks killing all these SCVs? Oh my gosh. 19 SCVs have gone down. The Mutas are paying for it. Oh my gosh, every Muta but one dies there. Rotidra still trying to cause problems in this area, but the siege tank count getting a little bit big as three more join the party. Not ideal. I'm curious to see if we're going to go for Broodlords, though. I kind of like that idea a lot. There's only three Vikings out, although two more being produced. Dude, Morrow is mecking here, sir. Hmm. Big fan. Big fan of the mecking shenanigans. In the house here. Creep spread. Continuing to push. Roach Hydra. Viper again. So, abducting a siege tank, free tank, free tank, free tank. Cyclones and other siege tanks continuing to be a problem here. That, <laughs> that Muta tried to come back in and got wiped out. So, 83 to 77 workers here. Oh, let's get actually income advantage. Shin has a nice advantage. Mules are good. And there we go. Corruptors being produced. Muta's taking down a refinery, getting a supply depot, getting a missile turret. Fancy... Banshee chasing the roaches out. We're not going to upgrade these guys to Ravagers, I don't think. Kushin's probably saving gas. Ooh, he just made 17 Corruptors. So it's probably going to be, you know, eight, maybe seven Broodlords. And then some Corruptors to help against the Viking count, which is getting a little bit scary here as there are six of them and two more on the way. Yeah, these roaches are just sacking themselves to free up supply. Eight Broodlords are on the way. Okay, so there you go. Eight Broodlords. Roach Hydra, not quite enough of it to deal with this planetary fourth base of Maru's. But Shin expanding again up this right side. That's going to be a sixth base for him. Looking good. You know what? I'm impressed by Shin here as Maru lands his fifth base. Probably going to upgrade that one to a planetary. Roaches kind of <laughs> walking into siege tanks. Not good, guys. Not good. A blinding cloud on this planetary would actually allow you to deal with this. I don't know. Did all the vipers die? I don't feel like maybe all the vipers are dead. Yeah, all the vipers are dead. Okay. We're going to leave these roaches to harass a little bit. Kind of keep Maru's attention on this side of the map as much as ugly possible. Don't get dragged into the... Don't get dragged into fighting the planetary, you dumb roaches. Come on, Shin. i got to control these guys a little bit better. More corruptors on the way. Ghosts. Thor's being added into the mix. Because Thor anti-air hits Brewlords really hard and outranges the Brewlord too. But how many Thors are here currently? Two. How many abducts are available? None? You know what would be really good here is a little Viper support, man. The transfuses are good. Oh my gosh, the chaos. But the Vikings, the Thors, the Hellbats are doing a pretty good job roasting up these Broodlings before they do too much damage. Corruptors fly forward, trying to just get these Vikings out as all of the Broodlords are just getting murked here. Where are the Vipers? Shin's like, oh yeah, I guess I could use some Vipers. He throws up three Vipers back home. You. Okay, so the Viking count gets wiped out, but guess what's still a problem? These Thors are still a problem. Did every Broodlord die there? Yeah, nine Broodlords have died. If there were some Vipers there for some abducting, for a little bit of blinding cloud, I think that would have gone a lot better. Caustic Spray? Probably going to be enough to take down this orbital. The repair is good, but not good enough. Okay, but that was like six Corruptors for one orbital, which Mara's going to float another one in there. No big deal. I don't know about this from Shin, man. He just, he's making some mistakes. Honestly, having some Vipers at that battle and abducting those two Thors into a group of units to kill them quickly would have been insanely good. Instead, he let the Thors just sit back there and murder stuff. I mean, kill counts are going to be inflated here because these guys were fighting Broodlords. Oh, okay. So the Vipers fly in. Get some Blinding Cloud down. Okay, forcing the Thors to reposition. Not what they want to do. At all, actually. Wow. Okay, good engagement there from the Roach Hydra. Thors aren't really good against Roach Hydra in general anyway. Dude, there's no way Shin is winning this game. Is Shin totally winning this game? He's up 90 to 50 supply here at 14 minutes. What is even happening, dude? The ghosts? Okay, these are Maru ghosts, everybody. So they're insanely good. 
Another Thor goes down, though. And pretty much Maru's army right now consists of five ghosts, three tanks, and two Hellbats. That's not a lot. Okay, but these tanks are actually pretty scary. Maybe focus the one that's already incredibly injured real fast. There we go. Okay. Tank down, tank down, tank down. Ghost's still a problem, but 78 to 51 supply. I like that Shin's trying to end this game with just pure Roach. And you know what? It's kind of working out for him, dude. I am shocked at where we are in this game right now. I think Shin has this thing won. I think he has it won. Look at this income tab. Look at his ability to reproduce. He's getting infestors now. He's researching Burrow. Blue Flame is on the way here. Oh, finally getting some Ravagers. More ghosts. Look, if anybody can pull back from this position in a TDZ where they're down 70 supply and they have ghosts, it's Maru, okay? So I don't want Terran fans shutting this off and going like, well, that was disappointing for my favorite player, Maru. It's not over yet, right? We've seen Maru make better comebacks than this on this channel, and ghosts are a big part of it, man. Gross of Vials on a couple of these tanks, but my gosh, the more tanks being added all the time here. Army value is now 70 to 68. See, what did I tell you? Maru's macro is still insanely good. He still has access to mules. He still has 74 workers. I and mean, it's not like he's a dead man economically. It's just that Shin's got 88 drones and his economy is kind of awesome. And he's maxed out. He's developing a bit of a bank here, which he's going to need because this is a Terran player who's mecking with ghost support. It's the, probably the most cost efficient you can do. Or you can be. The most cost efficient strategy you can choose as a Terran player would be mech. With ghost support, man. Ooh, Neural Parasite on a tank is cute. Two tanks get Neural Parasited, but nope. Not forever. Ooh, he's trying to kill these ghosts with that tank. That's, this is such a scrappy battle here. Once again, I mean, it's a good trade out for Shin. He's up 88 to 47 total army supply. These tanks, man. Seven kills on that tank. He's dead, but... Eight kills is not bad. Snipe, 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 snipe. Snipe good against Hydra. Snipe good against Roaches. Snipe good against Raviders. Snipe good against everything except for pretty much Lings. Uh, I'd like to see some Lings added into this comp, but they don't have any attack upgrades and there's no Adrenal. So, honestly, at this point, a Ling Flood would be pretty fantastic. Pretty good at getting on top of these tanks. There's only a couple Hellbats here. Now there's four, though. Mm, and they're blue flame. Maybe not. Maybe not Lings. Maybe not Lings. But Shin's just kind of wearing Maru down here. Yeah, this planetary is in a heck of a lot of trouble. Crossabile's placed perfectly to wipe out the SCVs. And once again, snipes are happening. Planetary dies anyway. Shin doesn't care about that. Shin does not care about losing a few units here to take down an entire base of Maru's. Hurt his economy even further. Once again, it looks like he's trying to put his foot down, stamp out Maru for good here, but guess who has a few ghosts remaining? Yeah, that's right, Maru does. These ghosts are fantastic. That one only has one kill. He's disappointing. Other guy has six, though. But yeah, Maru not expanding down here. This base is dead. Replanting it is pretty immediately easy for somebody as good as Maru is. Shin is saying, why won't you die? I've tried a lot of different things here, man, and you're just refusing to die. So I guess I'll keep expanding. He's got this top right base. Uh, I mean, and every time he's got double the army supply, Maro just kind of catches up because you haven't been going after his production all that much. It's really just kind of engagements at the front. It's just it's a lot of siege tanks for this Roach Ravager stuff to work. Yeah, look, I know it's looking bad for Maru. I understand that, and I know it's been looking bad for him for a while, but look at those mules, man. Go, income, go. Go, Terran, income, go. Roaches will fight pretty darn well against Hellbats, but not when there are ghosts and siege tanks backing up those Hellbats. Shin's like, well, maybe I need Banelings? Uh, he doesn't really have the gas to make a lot of Banelings or get Adrenal, unfortunately, or go for attack upgrades for his Lings. What are his upgrades at? 3-3 for Roaches and Ravagers and Hydras. Dude. Dude. Maru. Maru is just... Maru is Maru. I don't really know how to explain him to you guys. You know who he is. You know what he's all about. These poor zero attack wings are in here with no adrenal and being like, um, nom, 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 nom. 
Well, we're just here to soak up some damage. Another base goes down for Maru. But, once again, go snipety snipe snipe snipe. Mario has a bigger army value now. His worker value is in half. Look at this income tab. Look at this income tab and tell me that Mario's going to win this game. Because I think he might win this game. Plus one attacks on the way for these links. Centrifugal hooks on the way to more infestors. No adrenal. Dude, if Shin doesn't win this game, I'm going to blame it on, on adrenal glands entirely. Okay, ghost down. Hellbat down. Hellbat down. They do get healed by Metavax, so if you don't kill them, they'll be back. You just need more Ravagers for these Siege Tanks, man. Blinding Cloud, good. There you go. Crystal Battle takes down another tank. The Snipe sounds are coming fast and hard here, though. Maru is down so much, but I just cannot shake the feeling that Maru's superior skill will come into play here in incredible ways. Yeah, and Maru for the first time is actually making a concentrated effort to get out here onto the map. Banelings are like, man, we wish we had speed. Banelings don't do bonus damage versus ghosts, but... Okay, they will die if they take enough damage, as usual. Hellbats are free inside your base! Why did you leave? He's waiting for centrifugal hooks. Okay, centrifugal hooks is done. Dude, come on, Shin. You can't just let these two Hellbats walk through your mineral line and kill every single drone in there. Actually, says Shin, I can totally do that. Don't watch me. Okay, plus one attack is done. Shin says go time. All right, Infestors. What are you going to do, Infestors? Well, you get totally scanned out. Try to get a Fungal down on those ghosts. Some of them get, a lot of them get picked up. The hatch goes down. But Shin has this bottom left base. He's got the top right base. He's got this high ground base. He's okay. Economically, he really is. Mainlings, once again, trying to connect on something that matters. Not really working out all that well, though. Shin has lost 58,000 resources. Maru's lost 43. And Maru Ghost can seem functionally immortal at times. But they're not, I promise you. Several ghosts have died in this game. 14 of them, in fact. It's just... They're always being remade because they're that good. 170 to 120 supply. Adrenal would be awesome for these lings. Shin says, hmm, well, I'm glad I have a ton of the map. Here we go. Lings with plus one attack now and plus three armor. Look how long it takes. Plus one attack lings with no adrenal to kill a siege tank. Look at them. Look at them just nibbling at it. That siege tank has plus three armor. He doesn't care about those lings. He would have been saved if those Hellbats had shown up just a second earlier. 88, uh, well, 82 to 58 workers, 103 to 80 supply. Maru again trying to make this Ghost Hellbat Siege Tank thing work. Where is this army for Shin? Is he just, once again, he's just kind of sacking an entire base? I don't know. Roaches aren't fast, I guess. Siege tank set up in beautiful positions. Hellbat out here to give that give that advantage. Oh, these links had better upgrades. I cannot stress to you. Good blinding cloud. Banelings exploding on Hellbats is always going to be good, no matter what the upgrades are there. Banelings splash damage is just really insane. Siege tanks. Friendly fire. Tank fire. Hurting some of those tanks, too. That is... It's always been a problem with siege tanks in StarCraft, even since the old Brood War days, man. Infestors like get out of range and burrow. No more scans available. More banelings coming in. What a scrap fest this has been, man. I mean, for Maru, it's been a scrap fest. Not as much for Shin. Shin's been maxed out for a lot of this game. He's had a ton of money. He just can't finish Maru because Maru is an absolute monster. A monster of a human. Okay, Shin continues to make Zerglings here, and I'm kind of morally offended by the fact that he's not giving them adrenal. Why is there a game every few months that gives Falcon aneurysms because there's no adrenal gland research? Why? More tanks are dying. Do you think Shin might, might have just won this game? Maru has no money. Maru has better upgrades than these lings do, and these ghosts are continuing to kick butt and take names and chew bubblegum and all that other stuff. Oh my gosh, 26 more SCVs die. I know that Maru shouldn't care about workers all that much because he has mules and stuff. But for reals, you guys, 
Look at this base that Shin has taken. Shin's taking this one that I think he kicked Maru out of 10 minutes ago. This feels like it's a 40 minute game, but it's only 24 minutes long. All right, the Ghost Squad, which again is the MVP squad of Maru's entire life, snipes this top right base. Adreno for these links, or plus two attack for these links would also be pretty good, dude. You keep making Zerglings. Give them Adrenal Shin. Shin, 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 Shin. Shin, okay, you could not have chosen a worse run through path. Okay, just walks right into a bunch of plus three, three Hellbats. Yep. No, I mean, he couldn't have done anything worse, I don't think, with those lings. Really don't, dude. Army value 88 to 74. Maru has the lead here. He's marching down left. He's going to take this base. Maybe as soon as this creep recedes, who knows if Shin's going to try to stop him. This left side base that Shin is taking very cheekily. Maru is going to take exception to that. And Maru on the rampage. Shin's going to lose this base because he didn't get Adrenal. That's it. That's the... Okay. Nope, 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 nope. Those lings. Nope, 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 nope. Where are the Banes? I don't have the gas for Banelings, says Shin. GG. <laughs> 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 What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Did it look like Maru was kind of dead? Yeah, certainly did. Was I convinced Maru was dead at any point in this game? Not really. No. Not really. Ghosts, man. A lot of the time, Maru, all he had left were like uh, maybe a tank and a ghost. Maybe a couple hell bats, And he hold on because ghosts are insanely good. Mostly when they're hand in the hands of Maru, though. I mean, Shin tried everything in this game. Roaches, Ravagers, Hydralisks, Broodlords, Mutalisks, Banelings, Zerglings, Infestors, Vipers. None of it worked. None of it worked against this mecking ghost strategy of Maru. You only, only made a few Cyclones today, huh? It was more traditional mech than anything else. He killed all of the Thors produced by Maru today, but Maru just really started making siege tanks, hellbats, and ghosts. Maybe some medevacs, right? Maybe some medevacs. And no medevacs? No, two medevacs did go down today. Yeah, man, you kill 105 SCVs, you kill two planetaries, you kill an orbital, you kill eight Thors, you kill 16 ghosts. It doesn't really matter, man. Maru will come back and crush you if you don't have Adrenal for your Lings. Why would you not have Adrenal for your Lings? Because he forgot. Because he forgot. Because he wasn't really planning on using Lings. He was trying to go Roaches, Ravagers, Broodlords. Uh, but surprise, Tier 3 Reserve Units aren't actually very good. Tragically, not very good. And yeah, Hydro Ling Bane. Like, I don't know what to tell you. It's Hydroling Bane, man. Crazy. Crazy, crazy good ZVT there for you guys. Holy smokes. Well done there, Maru. 75,000 losses for Shin, 52,000 losses for Maru in 26 minutes. And that's why Maru is Maru. Just defend, 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 defend. And that's it. That's the win. <laughs> uh, amazing. Like, what an amazing, amazing display. That's Maru, though. All right, cool. So that's going to be it for me today. This has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft II Legacy of the Void. Go ahead, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you like what you saw, what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.